It's difficult to talk about, impossible to forget. I have to get out what the state of North Carolina did to me. Elaine Riddick, now 57. The man standing by her is her only son, a child she had when she was 14 after she says she was raped. Riddick says the government called her feeble-minded and promiscuous. They slandered me. They ridiculed and harassed me. They cut me open like I was a hog. She can never have children again. Neither can Mary Fisher after having three children at a young age. She said her doctor enrolled her in a program to get her tubes tied and told her it was reversible. It was not. Something that traumatic, you don't get over it. No matter how many times I put it in the box, I still brush against it. The North Carolina Eugenics Task Force listened to these stories as members tried to determine how the state should make it up to these victims. Some lawmakers have suggested payment of $20,000. We thank you, North Carolina, for your apology, but it's not enough. We thank you for the $20,000. That's not enough. You're going to have to look at more. You're going to have to dig deep. Other victims said they should get free health care for the health problems they had years after and the chronic depression many of them suffered. Yes, it is hard to talk about. So what am I worth? The kids that I did not have, could not have, what are they worth? Perhaps even harder to come up with the worth? answer. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.